All right, so those of you who are familiar with the S5 program know how to create props. Uh, um, what I did was I created a mega tree prop, and I'll bring it up here. It's a tree up here at the top says tree, 360 wedges. And what I've done is I've got 16 actual, str actual strings, 100 pixels per strings. Um, I've got zeros and everything here, but I got a four and a four in the tilt forward degrees. That's so that when it displays, it has a little bit of a tilt. You can kind of tell it's three dimensional. And then it's divided up here into three quarters. And what you have is I have 16 strings of 100. And it starts here on one, up, down, up, down. And of course, there's a way to, to, to see how to string it out. And actually, I think it goes up one. I'll double check, but uh, at this time, I have 16 strings of 100. And then over here, this is the key in doing the pixel animation using the picture file or an animated GIF. Over here to the left, you've got motion effects rows. When you click on this, there won't be any motion effects rows. I've added four. And so when you hit the add button, and I'll show you, I'll add one, boom, add effect five. All of these white lights over here, this is the grid view. Every one of these little white squares represents a pixel. Let me show you the custom pixel setup that I did for motion effects row that I have matrix bottom 50. Boom. Notice only the lower 50 in each string light up. That means that motion effects row will only have an effect on those lower 50 pixels on the mega tree. They will not have any effect on the upper 50 per each string. And then of course I have another one over here, it says matrix top, and that's the top 50. So I can literally run two separate matrixes at the same time. But what I do is I normally put an effect on the effects row, like a, I don't know, raining, snowing, you know, neat little snow effect on the whole tree. And then I'll go down to the bottom and put the matrix picture in there and then run it on a continuous loop. So as, as it look, you look over here to the right, I have an effects one and effects two motion effect. And of course, those under the sub, subsection say none. Notice that all of the lights are lit up, effects one, subsection none. But that's in effects one and two. When you get down here to matrix bottom, it, I, have, I have it lit up custom. Custom is where you create your sections of your prop that you want to use exclusively for say a matrix. I wouldn't want to, if I had a mega tree, I don't have a mega tree, but if I had a mega tree, I wouldn't want the picture being compressed way up here towards the top. I think it would look best in the bottom 50. It's kind of more spread out or maybe even in the center 50. I mean, you could probably, you know, eliminate the top 25 and the bottom 25 and make a really good matrix down the center. I could do that if I wanted to here. I could add another matrix. And in this case, there's already one there. It's, it's called effects five. And I can change it from none to custom. And then I can bring my little pencil tool here and I can start lighting up the middle section on this would, this would basically, I got to fill them all in and color them in, but I could, I could do the center 50 and that could be one of my matrix, you know, the matrix and that motion effects row once it's saved. And I'll go ahead and save this now because I don't have a mega tree, but this is just to show you how it works. Once you save it, I actually will save this and the whole, this is the whole prop. As you notice, I have two trees set up here. This one on the left is actually like a 360 rendering. It's kind of 3D. And over here on the right is more like a flat rendering of the tree. It's more of a matrix. That's just for a visual so that I could see how the matrix looks. So with all, with all those done, I save it. And then of course I've already created this neat little, you know, program here. As you notice, it's actually an animation file and there's no sound to it. The only, the only thing I have in here, it's actually the 10 by, or the 100 by 16 mega tree with a matrix this is the name of the preview that I did. And in there, it only has one deal. It's a hundred or one prop, I should say. It's a 100 by 16 mega tree. If I hit on the plus button to the left of it, it brings me over to a motion effect for just the entire mega tree. If I hit the next plus button, there's my four motion effects. 
And of course, Motion Effects 1 is just straight out the tree. If I click on this, you'll, you'll see over here to the left, this is my preview as I use two screens. The whole tree is doing a snow effect. Then if I come back over here and there's nothing in this second effects, but the third effects has my candy canes rolling around. There you go. Okay, so now if I play it, bang, there it is. As you can see, I've got the 3D tree and the laid out flat tree, and that's going on. That's about it. That's how you put it together.